from the Tantara mine in the Katanga Copper Crescent, uh, Congo. Now, what appears to be green is actually more yellow. Uh, what is so strange about these guys, um, if you have a look, let's start with the outside. You'll see there's a crust around here, and inside the crust, almost like a geode, you have these larger quartz crystals forming. Now, here on the back, you have a solid crust. Some shatter cut protruding through on that section. So when you look at it from the outside, this is what you see. And then when you pop it open, you find this multitude of quartz crystals. Now, the quartz crystals we're seeing here, um, I'll just angle it in so one can explain these, uh, uh, understand these quartz crystals better. So there, have a, there, for instance, is a typical termination. But these are all quartz crystals in the interground at various angles. So some would have been sitting on the, uh, imagine this had an outside as well. Some would have been sitting there and would have joined the ones at the bottom. This is why there's a rather abstract uh, uh, form of the quartz. As we look into these quartz, as we have little uh, fur balls of uh, shatukite included. Then we have some sections which are yellow, which is still uh, baffling me slightly. I think it's a nut which I'm not going to be able to crack, but I don't see any inclusion in the quartz. So the, the yellow is a color inside the quartz. Here's a section with the yellow. So uh, we have various uh, uh, guesstimates on this. I've, I've chatted to my supplier about it. And uh, I think that perhaps behind the crystals there may be a thin layer of gold or, or perhaps even we're looking at uh, uh, sulfides uh, which, which ran into the quartz. So we may be looking at maybe citrine because the color is in the crystal or, or it seems like they're around the inside edges. And I've, I've looked at a few of these. I just can't get a crystalline section. So it's, 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 uh, one would expect maybe rutile or, or duhamelite trapped inside this. And that's definitely not the case because I don't see any crystallization unless one looks at bigger magnification. Quite an exquisite piece, half a hand sized, lovely color and lots happening here. Very, very busy piece and uh, a lovely color saturation of the, the uh, uh, shadow cut, a uh, uh, pretty dark blue, so uh, baby blue, darker baby blue, mixed with, of course, touches of yellow, which are more concentrated on other sections. From a display point of view, I quite enjoy this angle because it's got quite a bit of yellow in it. Can be put on a turntable all the way around, going like this. And there, of course, you have the, the crust of the geode, per se. Uh, and then we could have it this way around. And looking from the top down, this is the effect you'd have. All the way from the Tantara mine, material I haven't seen before. And one never knows, you know, as these pockets open, the mining comes and goes. They're not mining for specimens, they're mining for copper. So, uh, maybe they move onto the section where this is, or maybe they move away from it. I'd, I'd imagine where there's a high silica content, you wouldn't find all that much copper.